Uh, my name's Kelly Latimer. I'm a sport presenter, host, and mother to Sienna Jamie Loy, and another little one coming next year in March. So in our family, reading's really important. Um, and we started reading with Sienna the day she was born, you know? Like, we, we've always had books in the family, uh, and it started off with, like, fun little books, uh, just ABCs, picture books. We actually started when she was, like, newborn, newborn with flashcards because they can't see colours yet, so it's all black and white. So we were using a lot of flashcards, just things to keep her interacted um, so that she can, like, visually train her eyesight a little bit more. Since then, we've, we've really inculcated reading into our everyday lifestyle. I, th I think it is an important skill. Every single day we read before bedtime and that's a big part of bonding with her. It's an opportunity for us to come together at the end of the day, read storybooks, and it's gotten so much part of her routine that it's her incentive to go to bed early. If she goes to bed at seven o'clock, she gets three bedtime stories. If she goes to bed at 7.30, she gets two stories. And if she goes to bed at eight o'clock, she only gets one story. So she's quite highly motivated to go to bed earlier. Because we started reading to her at an early age, I think she has grown to love reading um, and exploring. But I think it also comes down to how we read. It's not just reading words off a page. It's about interacting. It's about engaging with her. It's about acting out characters. So she loves Octonauts, and it's actually based on a cartoon. But she has an Octonauts book, and I do my darned best to imitate the accent of each of the characters so that she actually feels like she's almost watching the show. When it came to choosing books, it wasn't I think at the very start, it was what we thought would be visually more appealing. As she's grown a little bit older, we try to choose books that have values, morals, or lessons that we would like her to learn or pick up or inculcate. If she is going to be reading a book 10 times in a row, I want her to be reading a book which has values that I want her to be subliminally picking up in terms of the values and the morals of the story. We also have a lot of hand-me-down books, uh, books that get passed on rotation throughout various friends as their kids outgrow them, then she picks them up. So she's got books about construction sites and traveling trucks and cars, but she's also got books about female empowerment or women that have done great things or people that have gone on to do good in the world. So I don't want to limit any type of book that she has. I'd love for her to have a bit more of a varied exposure to the different types of books. So things about the sea, things about people, things about scientists, for example. Those are all things that I would love for her to pick up. I think reading as a family is really important. Spending time at the end of the day coming together and reading however many books. It could be one book, it could be two books, um, but I think it's important to do it as a family activity. It's a great way to end the day because it's a nice, calm, sedate activity. It's not about hyping them up or whatever, but it's a nice way to just round it all off um, and, and spend a bit of quality time together. I think we get very caught up in our day-to-day -day lives and I feel like Sienna especially sees her bedtime stories as a way for everyone to come together.